हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टुडे टॉपिक इज फूड चेन एंड फूड वेब स्टूडेंट्स ऑलवेज द टाइटल हैज अ हिडन मीनिंग ओके सो ऑलवेज गिव सम टाइम ऑन द टॉपिक थिंक फॉर अ वाइल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द टाइटल ऑफ द टॉपिक देयर इज सम हिडन मीनिंग If I am saying food chain, so understand that there is a some link between food and a chain. Okay, so what kind of chain is involved in food chain? Let's understand. Food chain. It is a chain of living organisms, or a sequence of living organisms, which involves transfer of food energy from producers through a series of organisms with repeated eating and being eaten up it is called food chain understood what does it mean it is simply transfer of energy from producers to consumers to decomposers and at each level the organisms they are repeatedly eating and being eaten up okay each level or a step in a food chain where transfer of energy takes place is known as tropic level producers consumers decomposers they all are the tropic level clear so food chain is a sequence of living organisms where the transfer of energy takes place there are basically three types of food chain grazing food chain or you can say predator food chain and uh, in short form it is written as gfc the other food chain is detritus food chain in abbreviated form it is written as dfc or saprophytic food chain the third one is parasitic food chain pfc or auxiliary food chain grazing food chain or predatory food chain detritus food chain or saprophytic food chain and lastly food chain parasitic food chain or auxiliary food chain let's discuss each of them firstly the grazing food chain or gfc it consists producers consumers and decomposers okay source of energy for such food chain is sun in such kind of food chain we have primary pro producers or you can say uh, pp and they represent first tropic level the second tropic level is the primary consumers are herbivores these are those animals which feed on green plants and at third tropic level we have secondary consumers or primary carnivores these are those animals which feed on herbivores okay so final we have t4 level or tertiary consumers or secondary carnivores these are the animals which feed on secondary consumers clear with an example you can understand in a better way grass it is producer it is eaten up by grasshopper which represents the level second and grasshopper that is eaten up by frog and frog is eaten up by snake and snake it is eaten up by eagle it represents the food chain second type of food chain is detritus food chain and it begins with dead organic matter it is made up of decomposers which are heterotrophic organisms okay so let's take the common example detritus which is dead or decaying uh, organisms they are eaten up by earthworm and earthworm it is eaten up by sparrow and sparrow it is eaten up by falcon okay 
a very important point to note down in terrestrial ecosystem much fraction of energy flows through detritus food chain than grazing food chain clear lastly we have parasitic food chain and it starts with uh, what i say trees okay trees they are eaten up by herbivores or birds and birds finally they are feeded or you can say uh, leaves or bugs they feed on these birds clear now i will discuss about food web in food web what is happening what name suggests it suggests that there is a web and what kind of web it is a web of food chains different food chains you can say that different food chains like grazing food chain detritus food chain and parasitic food chain they are interconnected and they will form a web like structure that is known as food web and if you will go for the definition it will say that food web it is a network of interconnected food chains at different tropic levels in a biotic community clear in food web one organism can feed on different other organisms okay at different tropic levels for example snakes they can feed on mice frog even on birds okay similarly jackals they are both carnivores and scavengers sparrows for example they are primary consumers when it eats a seed or fruit secondary consumers when it eats up insects and worms so i guess you have understood clearly food chain and food web if you have any doubt you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com and you can comment and question over there you can also listen to some previous lectures thank you